Hey, it's Siobhan Barnes, founder of the Neon Life Society, and I wanted to mix things up this week and do a live video from the streets of Hong Kong and where I'm at right now, and talk about today's topic, which is about really not just doing things on your to-do list and taking action, but also being conscious about the energy with which you bring to what you do. And this is super duper important because we all know that going through the motions isn't the way forward to have a successful life in business, right? You've got to also bring the energy and the passion and the excitement to what you do because other people feel it. So if you're working in a corporate job, your colleagues will feel it if you're not into what you're doing. Your clients will feel it if you just seem like you're you're not bothered and you really don't want to be there. And when the you're giving off this unconscious energetic signal to um, the people around you, that's when you know they shut down and opportunities shut down and the universe doesn't really support you to take that next step. And this is something I've learned in my own business, like it's not just about what I do, it's about the energy with which I bring. So in the past I've been quite, you know, go, 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 nose to the grindstone, taking actions, but not really aligning and really feeling the gratitude for everything that I've created for myself. Honest truth, I'm still learning everything and I'm nowhere near perfect and you know, one of the beauties of running a business is you get to, you know, learn and grow as a person and always be on that growth edge. And you know, when I let go of the need, what I should do, like having to do things and really feeling forceful about everything, that's when everything beautiful has started to flow. Today I'm in a coffee shop preparing for an in-person VIP day with a client, which I haven't done in so long. And it just happened so effortless, effortlessly, so naturally. I really wanted to do this. It felt really good. And you know, when I was speaking to my client, it was just a very natural progression and a natural obvious solution. So I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm here at the cafe right now, getting ready in a district called Saying Pun. Um, which is cool. There's nobody here. It's about 11.30 and it's awesome. I get to have some quiet time and prep and you can hear the construction in the background. Welcome to Hong Kong. But I share this story with you because it's just such a beautiful example of how when I reorganize the energy and actually shift into the gratitude and everything I am grateful for rather than, oh, I have to work late after the kids are in bed and I'm really tired, that kind of headspace, that's when everything started to flow and that's when things become joyful again. So I ask you now in your life, are you showing up and going through the motions but your energy and your heart just isn't in it? And I recommend you do a few things. So step number one, ask yourself the question, what's going on here? What's really going on? Are you in a job you don't love? Is, is, it, um, is it time for a change? Like what is going on? And be really truthful and honest about where you're at because once you're able to get clear on that space, then you can take action and address what's really going on. And a lot of us don't want to look at the truth because it can be painful, it can bring up feelings of shame and guilt and everything else, but when you're actually um, facing the truth, that's when the healing can take place and that's when the transformation can take place. So ask yourself what's going on. And then secondly, ask yourself, is there a lesson that I need to learn here? Because I truly believe that we're here to learn, to teach, and just to show up as ourselves and go through this earth school and progress and, and you know, become the best versions of ourselves and, and develop. And so ask yourself, is there a lesson I need to learn here? So if you're stuck in a corporate job, is this lesson about um, speaking up to your boss and being honest and saying, hey, you know, I really deserve that promotion and here's why, let's work on a plan to get there. Or is it, you know, you're in your job and you're like, you know what, I'm actually not meant to do this. I don't want to be here. I'm actually going to spend some time on the weekends to purposely carve out um, what my options are and how I can how I can come up with another solution that's going to bring in the money and it's going to be joyful and it's going to be my new career. So ask what the lesson is and then, yeah, step three, take action and come up with a little mini step you can take in the right direction to get you back on track. For some people that's going to be some growth mind, like mindset work, so for some people it's actually going to be speaking to people and going out there and putting some energy into what you do want instead of what you don't want. And for some of you it's actually going to be stopping the doing and the crazy making and sitting in meditation and just being with those feelings that are coming up for you. So those are three steps to get you started. Remember, it's not just what you do, it's the way you do it. And the world needs you the way you are. We need you to shine your gifts and everybody has a unique gift. All of us are special, which means that none of us are special. So tap into that and remember that where you're at is perfectly where you're meant to be on this journey and that you have a choice to choose again every single moment of every day when things aren't going right and realign to a more positive and empowering state of mind and take action from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this live 
video and I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment for me and let me know what do you do to manage your energy and what are you going to be working on healing and changing in your life. Sending lots of love. Have a beautiful day.